Kathy Urich. I'm here with my brother, Mike Hayner, and a bunch of his hunting buddies. And we are gonna do some shiitake log inoculation. I come from a hunting family and the only thing I can take credit for knowing how to hunt is mushrooms. In fact, I recently got the chance with um, Teresa Moroni to write a little field guide for our area. There's probably 10,000 different species in our area. Um, this book covers three to 400. So you can see that like, there's lots you could find that isn't edible and um, it's a really tricky craft. So one of the easier ways to find mushrooms that you know are edible is to plant them. So again, we're gonna inoculate shiitake logs. Um, a lot of preparation and work goes into it, but the payoff is so great. These guys here cut about 60 to 80 logs. One of the key things is to cut the logs when they're dormant and they have to be living trees. Shiitakes love oak, so that's what we primarily have here. But I've also got a couple things that I'm trying. I've got a piece of ash, some a little bit of maple and a little bit of buckthorn. So we'll see how those do. We're gonna be working with some spawn that we ordered from Field and Forest Products. And the spawn is basically the mushroom spores that have been put into a medium. In this case, it's sterilized sawdust. And so this is how it comes. This would be a block. Um, we're gonna break it up into chunks like this so that we can easily put it into a inoculation tool which then gets inserted into the logs. So why don't I show you how we do it? All right, so step one is gonna be to drill the logs. It's smart to wear some eye protection, some ear protection. Um, let's go have Mike show us the drill and the bit and sort of the process here. Yeah, so we're using an angle grinder with a specialty bit. And instead of using like the dowel plugs you can buy that are a little easier to use, we've actually got, like Kathy said, the natural spawn in the sawdust and we're drilling holes. And the key to the holes is to keep them about six inches apart and you kind of do them in a diamond shape about the log. So you, you end up with a lot of holes in the log, so it's quite a bit of work to fill the holes. But once you get them filled, the log will be um, full of spawn and it'll last like 10 to 12 years inoculated. So now we're at the step where we're gonna put the spawn in the logs. And we've invested in these tools. Again, the size of this that holds the sawdust spawn matches the size of the bit we have. Um, we bought these from Field and Forest as well, but I'm sure you can buy them at lots of different places. Or like Mike said, you can get a thimble spawn or a dowel spawn that doesn't require this tool. So. Here's our spawn from the bags, all broken up nice and small to make sure it fits into the inoculation tool. And then Deanne's gonna help me here. We just sort of fill the tool, set it on one of the holes and plunge it in. Make sure it gets, you get every hole filled. And then we'll keep rotating until we get the whole log done. And like, like we said, you can see that they're five to six inches apart and we're trying to create sort of a, a diamond pattern covering the whole log. All right, we're on to step three. We have all of the holes in this log filled with spawn. We're gonna move it down to the end of the table where Sam and Wyatt are gonna cover each of these with wax. It keeps the moisture in, it keeps the critters out, and mostly it keeps other fungi from inoculating this log. We're basically sort of overloading this log with shiitake spawn, so it takes it over and only grows that. The wax is a paraffin. It's like a cheese wax, so it's a little softer. Um, it's just melted in an electric frying pan here. You could use regular paraffin, but in the winter it happens to get <clears throat> cold and brittle and it might break off. So um, again, this was ordered special for uh, the inoculation. We've finished inoculating this log. Everything is covered with wax. Now comes the hard part. <laughs> We're gonna keep them stacked tightly for about a year and wait for them to um, mature colonize the logs. The key is to keep them uh, wet over the year. I put them down on a tarp 
keep them in a tight bundle. You might only have one or two logs, that's fine too. Just make sure to keep them in a shady, wet place because right now the mushroom spawn is gonna do its work and in a year, we hope to have a great crop and for years and years to come. Okay, so you've been super patient. You put your logs to bed for the winter. They were packed all tight, got snowed on, got rained on. In the spring, unstack them and reset them in a loose formation. You could lean them up against each other, do a teepee, or lots of people like to do this basket weave thing. Um, it gives them air circulation, and it also allows you to reach the mushrooms to pick. And here's a mushroom uh, log from last year that's just starting to grow. Could use a little water, that would help them grow. But this is what you're looking for, some um, shiitakes grown out of those little spots that you plugged. We were saying you might get 10 years out of a log this is a log from 2004 so what is that like 16 years ago this one was plugged the mushrooms have eaten away all the wood and this one's given all it can give but i hope you try it it's a super fun hobby